Uh, my name is Alex Caputo Pearl. I'm the president of United Teachers Los Angeles, a 22 year teacher in Compton Unified School District, uh, Crenshaw High School in South LA. Um, and uh, we're here to reiterate uh, what Arlene went over. Um, our bargaining proposals from the beginning of this process 20 months ago uh, have been an attempt to save public education in Los Angeles to make thriving schools in LA for the students of LA. In contrast, Austin Butner continues to try to buy us off by focusing almost exclusively on salary. As we've said for months, we will not be bought off. With 45 students in classrooms, they've made no movement on class size. With 80% of our schools without full-time nurses, they've made no significant movement on staffing. No movement on more input for parents on school site budgets. No movement on limiting standardized testing, creating room for arts, music, and ethnic studies in the curriculum. No movement on common sense regulation of charter schools so that they don't undermine our neighborhood public schools. No movement on investing in a community schools model. No movement on building our early education, adult education, and bilingual education programs. No movement, fundamentally, to spend the record-breaking almost $2 billion in reserve. While the district isn't moving, we are. Over 50,000 people, parents, educators, students, marched in downtown LA on Saturday behind the fundamental idea <coughs> of reinvesting in our neighborhood public schools instead of hoarding a reserve and attempting to downsize and privatize. That march on Saturday was a reaffirmation of public schools. Butner isn't moving because there's a bigger agenda for him. One of his most important goals is to privatize the school district. He's working with Eli Broad, the Walden Foundation, and others to bring in what's called the portfolio model which has been implemented in New Orleans, Newark, Detroit, and Indianapolis. This is his so-called reimagine program. It encourages school closures, flipping public schools at an increasing rate into corporate and privately operated charter schools, um, and a race to the bottom in learning conditions, increases in segregation, cuts in funding, and more. This is not what our schools need. He sees UTLA's push and parents' push and Reclaim Our Schools LA's push for reinvestment into all schools and, uh, and to increase the say that parents have at schools as directly opposed to his portfolio model. In this context, the traditional bargaining process has not worked. Butner's stunts yesterday put an exclamation point on that. He continues to try to bargain through the media. He claims offers were made that were never made. He even said that we agreed on a salary that we didn't. We're filing a new unfair practice charge on that lie this afternoon. But it's more than this that has broken faith in the traditional bargaining process at this point. Over 20 months, we have exhausted all bargaining options. We have not had a genuine bargaining partner in the district. 20 months in negotiations. Almost no legitimate proposals from the district. District bargaining teams coming into the room with no authority to bargain. Refusal to mediate for an unheard of 56 days. Lies about the budget. Refusal to respond to public records requests. A district bargaining team that hadn't even read our bargaining proposals. Violations of the law to try to silence our members. Us having to continue, continuously file multiple unfair practice charges against the district for illegal conduct. High-priced consultants 
working in the shadows, and intentional starving of our schools by refusing to spend a record-breaking reserve of almost $2 billion. Constant rhetoric from Austin Butner about pursuing more state money, which UTLA has been relentless in doing. Constant rhetoric from Butner on this, but no action from him. When he could use his investment banker and private equity contacts, contacts to make a unique contribution to getting more state funding. It's all rhetoric. The punchline, there has been one force at the bargaining table attempting to improve the educational experience for the 600,000 students in the district. And that has been UTLA, Reclaim Our Schools LA, and the parents and students and community that we work with. By dragging us through this process for 20 months, refusing to invest in our schools, the district has disrespected our students and disrespected us. For these reasons, we have not accepted the district's offer to go back to the table. We're not going to go back and do what we've already done for 20 months and sustain more disrespect of students and members. We've reached the point where enough is enough. We've established January 10th as a strike date. We do this along with our 47 leaders on the UTLA Board of Directors because of the dynamics described previously and because of the unprecedented 98% strike vote that our members took. Unless there are dramatic shifts in approach towards spending money on our students and saving this school district, we will strike on January 10th. We will strike on January 10th unless we see an addressing of the crucial issues that shape education. Class size, staffing, nurses, counselors, school site decision making, standardized testing, common sense regulation on charters, early education, adult education, bilingual education. As was demonstrated when over 50,000 people marched through the streets of LA on Saturday, if we strike, it will be a strike for our students and it will be a strike with our parents. It will be a strike to force the district to stop its illegal conduct and bargain in good faith. A strike for educational justice and a strike for racial justice. We have watched underfunding and the actions of privatizers undermine our students and our schools for too long. No more. The Civic Institution of Public Education in Los Angeles is worth saving. It needs to be saved for the future of the city. Our students and families are worth the investment, and we must achieve the schools LA students deserve.